Hey friend, got another question. This one is from a viewer who calls himself Quadsman11. He asks, you are doing exactly what my intention is. You have listed a number of books, your recommended camera, and even your favorite overalls, but you didn't include the chainsaw mill or your chainsaw squaring attachment. I see there are plenty of them listed online, but not sure which would work best. I like the looks of the one you're using and the squaring unit as well. Can you please list the attachments you're using? Good work, by the way. And that's from Quadsman 11. Okay, Quadsman 11, my attachment, the main attachment I use for the chainsaw milling is the Alaskan Mark III made by the Granberg International Company. And this one is for a 24 inch blade, I think. And I have had wonderful success with this making basically um, most all of the lumber for the workshop that I'm standing in here and other projects around the farm. But this is a great unit when I've had um, nuts and bolts wear out on it or, or become over torqued from my negligence. The company was very good in about responding to me and sending me more bolts and replacement parts. So the Granberg Granberg International is the company. It is the Alaskan Mark III, and perhaps they have new ver newer versions out for sale. And as for the the beam maker or the the squaring machine you talked about, this one is called the Beam Machine, and um, I'll have to check and see if it's still available online. If not, this one there are many styles that you see, and probably any of them uh, would work pretty decently. It's, it's very, very simple to operate. It just attaches to the blade of the chainsaw. You just want to make sure your chain doesn't hit the metal here when you're attaching it, get it good and snug on there. And then this device here just rides a two by four. You buy any old two by four or, you know, mill one yourself and place that two by four on the log, screw it down. I use three inch screws screw that two by four down to where it's basically level. If your log is crooked, you might want to add some shims underneath to, to give it some support. And then this device just rides that two by four on down as you're making a flat cut on one side of your log. And then you rotate the log, make another cut, rotate the log, make another cut. And there you'll, three or four cuts later, you have a cant that's ready for the uh, Alaskan to go through and just make all your boards with. That's a very simple way of making lumber on the farm. I hope that helps Quadsman 11. And on a similar note, I want to read this letter I received a while back from Live Ready Now. They say, I love your pole barn project and you have inspired me to mill my own lumber using timber from our property as much as possible. How cool is that? and build us a nice barn slash equipment shed. Do you recommend a sawmill like the one you use? Also, do you use a ripping chain or a regular chain on your chainsaw? Keep up the good work and God bless you with good success. And that's from Thomas at Live Ready Now. And yes, Thomas, I do recommend these two uh, attachments that I've already talked about. As far as the ripping chain is concerned, Early on, when I first started the workshop project, I didn't have access to a proper ripping chain. And so I took a normal chain for a chainsaw that you would use to cut firewood. And I, I sharpened the teeth to a very narrow degree. Then after that, I, I just kind of uh, got tired of sharpening them to 10 degrees. And I just started, for convenience sake, just started using regular chains. Regular chains work, it's prob they're not the best. Probably and the ripping and finally I ended up uh, acquiring some ripping chains that Granberg sent me some actual ripping chains for uh, doing lumber and they work really really good uh, and probably probably a little faster than a normal chain and for sure a little smoother uh, or both are going to be rough cut obviously because you're using a chainsaw for crying out loud but with a ripping chain it was it seemed to be much smoother and it seemed to go just a tad bit faster so i would recommend the ripping chain if you can find yourself one if you would like to join in the discussion on today's topic just put it in the comments here below maybe you've got a question you like answered just leave that below 
or maybe you've got a question pertaining to a whole nother video on the Farmhands Companion channel, just go to that particular video and put your question in the comments below that video. If it's a great question, we'll try and answer it in upcoming episodes of the Q&A show. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to share these videos. That's what helps so very much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Paul Mack, and we'll talk at you next time. Old Dog Dreaming, 5715. Thanks, Paul Mack, for the great way to pole beans. Sure makes them easier to harvest. Stay safe around there and keep up the good work. Really enjoy your videos, Fred. Thank you, Fred. Flutie Lick Homestead. That is really cool. They said my great grandpa kept bees in gums like this. Always wanted to make one if I ever found a holler tree big enough. Great video as usual. Man, you, you really ought to. I, I hope you find one and, and we want to see it.